Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to run Elasticsearch locally and how to install all the libraries that you will need in order to interact with Elasticsearch. Visit this website, the link can be found in the description. Here as you can see in this page, we have two options to run Elasticsearch. You can do that in the cloud or use Docker to install it locally. In this series, I will focus on using Elasticsearch locally. So click on this link and make sure to copy this command. Now open the terminal, make sure that you have Docker installed and here paste in the following command. So as you can see here, it did not find the image, so it will install it. So I'll wait for this to finish and I will come back. Awesome, so the installation has finished. So now if you want to, to see the running containers, you can run this command. And as you can see, um, here it is running. Now, here they say that to verify that the installation was done successfully or correctly, you need to click on this link. So let me do that. And as you can see here, we have some information. Let me zoom in so that you can see better. So here you can see that this is the version that we have installed. So it is running on Docker and yeah, so if you see this, you, know, you now for search, this means that everything is good. Awesome. So now, because as I said in the beginning of this series, we will be using Python to interact with Elasticsearch. So the first thing I always like to do is to create a new virtual environment. So here, because I have Anaconda installed on my PC, so I'll use it. To do that, to create a new environment, you can run the following command: conda create dash n, and here um, you specify the name of the environment. And here I will be using Python 3.11. Click on yes to install all the necessary libraries. And I just want to say, if you do not, if you do not have Anaconda installed, uh, you can create a virtual environment with using the Venv module from Python. Okay, so here, the only thing we need to install is Elasticsearch. So, pip install Elasticsearch. But here, don't forget, you need to first activate the virtual environment. So, let's do that quickly. Conda activate Elasticsearch. And now, pip install Elasticsearch. Awesome! So you can see that this package did not take a lot of time to install and yeah, if you have arrived at this point, you installed everything you need. So see you in the next video.